Welcome to Ask the OT. I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today we'll be discussing visual perception. Now, the medical definition of visual perception is that it's the process by which sensory information from the eyes is transformed to produce an experience of depth, distance, color, etc. Moreover, it's the brain's ability to interpret, process, and to integrate incoming information and generate functional activity as an outcome. Now that was a mouthful. Now what does this mean? Let's break it down. When we're looking at something, we have the ability to tell what it truly is. For instance, when you see the number 8, you know that it's the number 8, the number that falls between 7 and 9. Some of the visual perception problem may see the number 8 as two circles with the smaller circle sitting on top of the larger circle. Some people confuse visual perception with visual acuity, but it's not the same. Visual acuity is basically if you can see the object at all, visual perception is how you interpret what you see. Now let's take an example. James was on a trip to the zoo. In the distance he could see what appeared to be and what he thought was a pair of insects. As he walked closer and closer, the insect seems to grow larger, larger, and larger. As he continued to walk toward them, what he thought were insects, he realized were actually elephants. His visual perception deficit stopped him from realizing that, that the elephants were far away. The distance from where he was standing made the animals look like small insects. So the way his mind interpreted the information was, small looking creature must be an insect. Normal visual perception allows a person to understand that it's simply the distance they are away from the animals that are making them look small. There are several ways visual perception deficits can change the way a person sees things. This is just one example. Now there's multiple symptoms that may indicate a problem. And here's a couple. One, a person may misalign letters and may have messy papers which can include letters colliding, irregular spacing, and letters not being on a line. Another is that they may have reversals of letters, B's for D's and P's for Q's. Uh, the person may turn their head when reading across a page or hold the paper at an odd angle when reading. Difficulty with copying accurately. And also if the person frequently loses their place when reading. As of always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails or leave your comments here. And We'll be seeing you next time. Take care.